So now that we have an understanding of how or why the plates move, and again to remind you, um, I my example was a hard-boiled egg, and the shell has cracks all over it, and these cracks again are called plates. And underneath the plates, we have this thing called magma, and it's moving and shifting, and it's making the plate the plates move. Well, where the plates meet together, these lines, these cracks themselves, these cracks are called boundaries, plate boundaries. All right. And um, for this video, I think we'll just talk about the uh, two easy, easiest ones to um, explain. And the first one uh, we already mentioned in the first video, and that is a divergent, divergent boundary. So a divergent boundary means that the plates are going to be moving away from each other. Oops, sorry about that. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. So the plates are moving away from each other. And um, in the previous video, we knew that that was the mid-ocean ridge. Mid-ocean ridge. And um, uh, the plates are separating. And in the Atlantic Ocean, we get plates that are separating. And underneath, magma is pushing its way up, as well as circulating, circulating all around. And the magma is filling in this empty space. And we end up with um, an underwater uh, ocean or mountain range. Okay, we end up with mountains. All right, and in this mid-ocean ridge in the Atlantic Ocean, the mountains can be really, really, pretty, pretty tall. Another thing that can also happen um, more often on on uh, continental plates, uh, not plates under the ocean, but um, plates that you and I are more accustomed to, what we stand on continental plates, la plates of land, where we will have a plate and another plate, right? And then underneath, again, the convection happens, all right? And the magma comes, but the magma doesn't really fill in that space and, and, and push its way all the way through to make these mountains. What we end up with more is kind of a sinking like this. All right. And so um, the convection is still pushing these plates in opposite directions, right? Plates are going this way, but it leaves kind of a valley, a depression. And this would be called a rift valley. Rift valley. And um, if you check your book, you'll see pictures of a, of a rift valley um, as part of a divergent boundary. All right, and let's move on to the next one. Let me clear this. Boop. All right, and so the next one is called a transform. Transform boundary. Sorry about the messiness of my spelling there, of my handwriting. So a transform boundary is a little bit harder to envision um, because it's a little bit more 3D. Transform boundary doesn't um, converge or go into each other or go apart from each other. They kind of slide parallel to each other. So um, if I had a plate like this, if we're looking at this as a tectonic plate, and then we had another plate right next to it, like this, and I'm leaving a space there, maybe I shouldn't, uh, but just to show you that these are two different plates, instead of the plates moving, it's not going to move into each other, it's not going to move apart from each other, but they're going to slide sideways to each other, parallel to each other. All right, and that would be a transform boundary. So something like this, you're not going to get any subduction. You're not going to get any mountain building. But what you will end up with is 
as you might guess, is plenty of earthquakes. 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 Okay. And so, um, and really maybe the better way to draw it would be uh, to have these plates connected, you know, right up against each other, where one plate would go one direction and the other plate would go another direction. And because they're crust and they're made of rock, it's not like a smooth, um, smooth traveling where one plate just slides past the other one really nicely. It's going to be very abrupt, and that's where we get these um, very sudden movements, and uh, we get these things called earthquakes. So transform and divergent, and I uh, hope you watch the next one, and we'll go through the, th the different types of convergent boundaries. All right, thanks a lot.